Welcome to Remixing Relationships, the podcast. I'm your host, Kendall Anise, the Remix Coach, Certified Transformational Life Coach. This podcast is all about promoting healthy relationships and doing things differently. Sometimes you have to remix your way of thinking and approach to your relationships. This is a podcast for everyone at every love stage, whether you are single, engaged, or married. Growth happens at every level. Remixing your present or future relationships will help you love in a more effective way. Love from a place of healing and freedom. All right, y'all, put on your construction boots because I may be stepping on some toes, even my own. Strap in your seatbelt and grab a cold pop. Remixing relationships starts now. Hey everybody, it is Kendall Anise and I appreciate you all for coming back every single time an episode is uploaded. It's all about remixing relationships. So this is a good episode y'all. Can men and women for real? Oftentimes people say yeah they can be friends But then something goes down. It's like, hmm, are you really friends? And y'all remember that song with Deborah Cox and RL from Next. Um, We can't be friends, right? Uh, And so many times, well, this is the thing. I'm going to let y'all listen to the show, but we're going to start with this week's real moment. And then we're going to get back to it. (laughs) And now it's time for our real moment. All right, I'm laughing because... Think about the different shows you see and people are friends and and they end up going there or they end up skating around the fact that they like them and they're really just using it as an entryway to get into the person's life and they never wanted to be their friend, right? But then you have actual solid friends. Um, I just talked to one of my friends. It was his birthday. We've been friends almost 40 years and we are truly friends. He's married. He's been married for a thousand years and we're truly friends. I have a lot of solid friendships, right? And a lot of people do, but this question is the age old question. So listen to this episode and the real moment I'm going to have is about friendships. And I talk a little bit about it on the show, but some people y'all are just lurking. I've had the experience where people A man never really wanted to be my friend, but he got into a friendship because he did have ulterior motives. And you have to stop that type of friendship right away. And you have to really be assertive and let the person know, hey, we are just friends, nothing more, you know, than that. And if they're able to handle that, then that's fine. But I always say it's a fine line with that because some people are lurking and waiting And it's happened. So I'm sure it's happened to some of you. And I'm sure you all can think of a real moment as well. All right. So we're going to go on with this week's episode. Let me know what you think. And I'll be back at the end to tie it up in a bow. See you soon. Hello, everybody. It is Kendall Anise and welcome to Remixing relationships where we dive deep into the art of creating sustaining healthy connections right um again i am your host kendall anisha fave life coach the remix coach and together we'll explore fresh perspectives and strategies to transform relationships whether you're looking to strengthen heal or completely remix your connections you're in the right place So we're about to get started on a topic that is age old. It's it's right up there with how and why the chicken crossed the road and what comes first, the chicken or the egg. So I'm going to give you just a couple of seconds before we get started to share this out. Because I want people to be a part of this conversation. So I'm going to share it out and I ask that you do the same. Because I want to hear from you. But I also have my guests today and I'm definitely going to hear from them. Because this is a subject that comes up often. 
whether you're in a relationship or your friends are in a relationship, it comes up often. I'm going to share some of my experiences as well as my guests are going to do that. And uh, we are going to finally get to the bottom of this question. So just take a moment as I am doing to share this out to your people. All right. So remixing relationships, to be honest, I'm tired of seeing as a life coach and just as a person, I'm tired of seeing broken relationships. I've had broken relationships myself, things that didn't work out uh, for whatever reason, right? But we have to come to some type of resolve. We have to come to something um, that's tangible that we can feel to remix these relationships. And it's all about promoting healthy relationships. And many times people bump their heads, get stuck on stupid, fall down, you know, don't get back up or rid love away. I ain't dealing with love. I'm not doing any of that because this love was this or this love was that. And as I said in the intro, it doesn't matter if you are married and been married 20 years. It doesn't matter if you are dating, engaged, or so on. We can all remix our relationships to make them better in some type of way. If your relationship is good, it can always be better, right? All right. So without further, well, let me just say this. I'm going to read something to you and then we're going to get started. Again, today's episode is all about can when men and women just be friends or is someone waiting in the wings to shoot their shot? Or are you saying you're friends after you've been attracted to the person or you've tried your hand at a relationship and it didn't work out? So now you're saying, that's my buddy, we're cool. And if so, do you think that your mate, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, significant other, however you want to call it and spin it, do you think that they need to know about these friendships? And we're going to explore the question, do you think that um, you should have that conversation with your friend or sit down and say, hey, this is what it is? Or do you think they were my friends before? I ain't got to tell him or her nothing. We're going to talk about all that. All right, so I'm going to bring up my first guest, ladies first, Dr. Leroy. Um, she is Regina Smithwick. She is an author, a radio personality, a life coach, a speaker, and a business owner of several businesses. And most importantly, she's not afraid to share her truth. She is in North Carolina right now. She hails from New York. And you know when somebody's from New York, you're going to rep New York all day, every day, no matter where you are. That's how us Jersey folks are too. So I get it. She is also, the most important fact, she is also a New Edition fan, just like I am. So we fell in love. We had a free, uh, what do they call it? They say a bromance, a girl man, so I guess you would call it, um, uh, over New Edition and speaking candidly about relationships. I had her on my podcast, Shine with Candelanese, and she was very open about her journey and relationships and her self-love uh, journey and how she didn't love herself and, and now how she embraces and loves herself. She's just a busy woman, and I'm glad to have her here today, Regina Smithwick. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hello, everyone. How you doing? Good. How are you? Hello. Can you hear me? I am wonderful. Looking forward to talking about this. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I sure can. Okay, good, good, good. I said I'm looking forward to Yes, I'm looking forward to talking about this amazing um, topic today. It could go so many ways. It can so go many so ways. many ways. Girl, I got notes on my phone. I have notes in my handy dandy notebook, a whole bunch of them. And we are going to go there because this is a conversation that people have all the time. And we want to put it to bed here. You know, we want to really have that conversation about it. I took a poll on TikTok, social media, and asking uh, if they thought men and women could be friends. Now, the ones who 
maybe have the friends that they don't want to let go. They might say, yup, they sure can be friends. But others might have had experience uh, about, uh, had experience. I know I've had experience when it comes to friendships and I had somebody waiting in the wings and waiting in the wings for years. As soon as the relationship was up, he was like, what's up? I've been feeling you, you know, I've been, you know, for a long time. You know what I mean? And we were like, we called each other brother and sister. So imagine my surprise, you know what I mean? And it happens, it happens more than not. And a lot of people don't want to talk, talk about that. All right. So my next guest is a authorpreneur. He goes by the impact builder. He is a connector, a networker, a positive individual. He has a publishing company and um, so many different connects in the business. But most importantly, this man got an opinion and he ain't afraid to talk about it. He don't care if 611 people disagree. He's going to stand on business on what he believes. And I rock with people like that. This is my brother, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr. Hey, hey. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what it do? <laughs> what it do? Look, you were on this couch with me. Uh, if you guys missed that episode, we talked about uh, relationships, and he sat right here on the couch with me, so I didn't want to put him through trouble. I said, you could do it from the comforts of your home, because I have a girl from North Carolina, and she's going to be on here. All right, Leroy, welcome to Remixing Relationships. I know. What's going on? How's everybody doing? Good evening, madams. Madams. <laughs> madams. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to ask this question first. When I asked you all, did you want to be a part of this conversation today and this subject? What was the first thing that you thought? And I and I prefaced it with Leroy because what his best friend is a woman. So I said, listen here, I already know your best friend is a woman, but let me spread it out like this. Because this is what he was going to say. He was going to say, well, my best friend is a woman. But tell me what you thought, or if that's what you thought when I asked you to be a part of it. Yeah, it was my natural reaction. And you know I'm going to you, you already knew what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. Because I talk about it all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> talk about, you know, just, just everything that, that she has meant to my life, mm-hmm. you know, over the years. And mm-hmm. she and I have known each other since college. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, she she know where the body's buried. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Like this. laughs> <laughs> you know, so mm-hmm. I mean, my my first thought was just about that, but but it is true, like you said. You know, a, a lot of people. This is a continuous conversation. Mm-hmm. It, it was just a, a topic that people want to when they want to have something to talk about. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. and one of these big mm-hmm. friends mm-hmm. just can just be friends mm-hmm. and everything like that. So that's all I thought about was, hey, let's let's talk about it. We always do and everything like that, and then and mm-hmm. uh, deal with it. Because so. Biz Markey said, oh, baby, you, come on, you got what I need, but you say he's just a friend. You say, oh, baby. <laughs> we already know all three of us love some hip hop, old school. So you already know um, folks have been talking about it. Regina, um, what did you think when I yes, said, hey, you want to be part of this conversation on remixing relationships? What did you think? What was your first thought? I, <laughs> you want me to be honest, right? I Keep thought it. about the situations that I was in. Yep. I had both ends. Of yep. the, so I thought about the person that it was on this side of, we said we were friends, but we ended up crossing the line. Mm-hmm. And then someone that I'm actually like literally friends with. Mm-hmm. And we've always been friends. I've been friends with his wife. I mean, the whole shebang. Mm-hmm. So I, I get it. It was on both sides. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the first thing I thought about. So I was like, I kind of did both. <laughs> so- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and that's, and that's real. It's so interesting. We're going to get into, all right, so we're going to get started. If uh, Please send this out so people can be a part of this conversation. And let's see, Max says, let's see what he says. He's watching already. And please share this out as we are talking. Let's see. Was just having this exact conversation with my significant 
other. There's nothing wrong with having these so-called friends, but there needs to be some type of boundaries when it comes to this. Honey, yes, and we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about who is supposed to set the boundary. Is it the person whose friend it is or is it their significant other? Because I've noticed a lot of times the significant other doesn't set the boundaries because they just say, oh, that's just a friend, right? So we're going to ask that question, but absolutely, I totally, totally agree. All right, y'all ready to get into it? Let's do it. All right. So I have my notes here. So let me just say, okay, so yes, men and women can be friends, but the dynamics of those friendships can vary depending on several factors, such as personal boundaries, mutual understanding, and the nature of the relationship. For many of these friendships work smoothly without romantic complications, while others may find challenges due to societal uh, expectations or potential feelings developing over time. So someone can start off as friends, right? But then if you spend a lot of time, you're like, hmm, you're looking at, you've seen it. You've seen the romantic comedies where people are friends and then all of a sudden the person just looks different to you one day and you like, hmm, the possibilities here. Let's talk about that. Either one can jump in and go first with that one. Ladies first. Ladies first. Okay. Ladies um, first. It's it's kind of a, a slippery slope because if I intentionally go in as your friend, mm -hmm. I've I've done it once, but usually I kind of keep it in that realm. Mm -hmm. I do get you saying that sometimes you get to see someone in different lights, and you see some qual qualities or some characteristics that you are attracted to mm -hmm. right but then here comes the the slippery slope <laughs> is it worth losing a friend if it doesn't work out like you got to really think it all the way through like is any friendship that valuable to you if mm -hmm. it is then maybe you don't want to cross that line mm -hmm. because if you if you say okay if this person disappears tomorrow it's going to affect me is it going to be like I'm have a missing void in my life because we that close yeah or you have some people that's friends. Yeah, you say, you know, we got to talk about friends. Like, mm -hmm. how do you are they define your friend, that? really? Or you someone mm -hmm. you just hang out with, you know, like, and you just, now you took it over to the other level and they, they didn't work out and you find if they're not there. So it just count how deep you are with the friends. I would like to say, if you give me a moment about the boundary thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you asked that question mm -hmm. from the beginning. Yes. So I have a best friend. We've been best friends since we were 19 years old. He was engaged, well, about to get married. He was engaged. I had asked him, I was, we were talking about it, and I said, hey, is it possible she could get on the phone? I would like to talk to her. Because I wanted to talk to her personally and say, hey, you know who I am? He's like, mm -hmm. yes, I know you. She, he talks about you all the time. He mm -hmm. said, that's my sister. That's my sister. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I want to make sure you're good with this. I said, I'm, you know, I'm not that type of person overbound. Or, you know, I just want you to know we're just friends. Mm -hmm. And you're my sister now. Mm -hmm. You're just like you. That's my brother. You're my sister. And I want to make sure you are comfortable with our friendship. And she said, yeah, I'm fine with that. I said, okay. I just want to talk to you personally without him on the phone. And that's to make sure we're good. Because I didn't want that. Because I understand this yep. is going to be your wife. Yeah. So you got to really like, respect it. She's head, no, your head honcho. That's your wife. Yeah. So I move aside if that's the case. But yeah. she was fine with it. And we end up merging and hanging with my kids with his kids and we went on you know vacations together we did things and she, we got along fine yes but, but the question is i took the because sometimes that part especially some guys they're not gonna do that they're mm -hmm. not gonna say well we're gonna talk to my fiance exactly sure good. like it's like you know oh. exactly so as a woman to woman i just said let me go ahead and just take that leap in and say okay can i talk to your fiance you know one-on-one -on -one, so I mean, I love that. And I want to piggyback off that because in my notes I wrote, you know, I, I wanted to make sure I brought up this example. Uh, my friend Vincent McWilliams, he's in New Jersey. We have been, I'm 53. He is older than me. And we have been friends. 
I can't even remember, 30 something years. We have been friends for a long time. And I remember when he was dating all the girls. I remember when he married his wife, Shauna, probably 20 something years ago. I should have um, reached out to find out how long they've been married. They've been married for a very long time. I love Shauna. You know, I did the same thing, had the conversation with her. Um, and she already knows she done came to, she done came to my wedding before with him. I've come, you know, when he, she surprises him for his birthday or whatever, I go to Jersey and go to the party. You know, she includes me and I include her and he also makes her very secure. And I think that's a thing too. And I think it's for the, 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 the man, if it's the, if it's that way the man to make the woman feel secure and the woman, the friend to come to the wife, as you said, to say, hey, listen, you know, we're friends. We've never been intimate or together or anything. That's like my brother, like in the real sense, like Leroy is my brother. You know what I'm saying? Because some people play that women sometimes, yeah, that's my brother, that's my boy. And they know they've been with them and their man might be in the same room. And the man is thinking, you know, your, your man is thinking that that's really your friend. And it's really, it's really not. So I want to, I want to say this and then Leroy, I want to hear from you. Um, and like, um, Regina said, I realized everybody is, they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. A lot of your friends, <laughs> Okay, a lot of the friends will not extend that olive branch to, you know, even if the even if the wife or the girlfriend is not even thinking about it. I think it says a lot when the, you know, the friend says something to him. But um I would never hang out and this I want to say this. So even with my male friends, I don't play about this even with my girlfriends who have husbands. Like I'm never going to hang out we ain't going to be spending the whole day and the whole night together going to the movies, going to dinner. I'm not hanging out with no male friend like that. That's reserved for his woman. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be at the house when she's not there. It's just certain things. We're not going to be sitting on a, in the, uh, at, a, at a, you know, across from each other at a table and we having dinner and doing all of these things. I'm not going to do that. I always believe in respecting boundaries when it comes to, even if it's my, if it's my friend, if he is in the re, a relationship or he is married, I'm going to make sure I respect that woman in all counts. Even if my friends, my girlfriends, my best friends, I'm not going over their house if their husband is there by themselves. It's just certain things I believe, you know, in my opinion, you shouldn't do. But um, I think it's up to the people how they decide to set the boundaries. Because my girlfriends might be like, girl, just go over there and get that. I'd be like, nope, when you get home, I'll be there. And before Leroy goes, as a woman, I see you shaking your head. What do you what do you have to say about that, Regina? And then I want to hear from Leroy. When you were talking about all the boundary um, things that you should do to respect someone's home, even though know, if you're a friend, I was laughing because my mother would say, you're not supposed to have anyone in your bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. But you say, oh, that's my friend, you know, and you have a guy friend, and before he was married, you used to maybe hang out or whatever, mm -hmm. and now he's married, you can't go in his bedroom no more, like, that's off limits, yeah. you can't hang out in the house with him by himself, that's off limits. Yeah. It's not the fact that you say, well, I don't well, why? I mean, I trust you. You trust me. It's not the fact. That's it's the there respect. You go. It's there called you go. respect. Because now you have a wife in the picture now. You got to respect that wife. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we feel that, oh, I've been here before you. Because we got this thing about if we were there before you, mm -hmm. that means it trumps all everything mm -hmm. else. I knew you since we were kids. Mm -hmm. Look, they come and go. Mm -hmm. Why come and go? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be here for you when she acts up. You know mm -hmm. that, right? Like, And they started trying to, like, no, it don't go that way. Yeah. Baby. I'm sorry. Yeah. You cling to your wife. You let all others fall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got to you gotta respect the marriage. Yeah. It's not the fact about your friends. You got to respect the marriage. So when you said that, I was thinking about, like, when my mom used to say about that kind of stuff. Yeah. You're not supposed to have people at your house. You're not supposed to be yeah. sitting on top of somebody. You know, get space. You know, respect the wife or the girlfriend of that person. So. I, I uh, um, in, in, um, in a marriage, he gave me that. He said... I don't want you to be his friend no more. We're friends. When I tell you this man was tried and true, he's been there. 
through the journey of my life. He has been there like a rock, a ride or die. He has been solid and true, right? And when I got married, he was like, I don't want you because he's a nice looking guy. You know what I mean? He was taller than him. <laughs> A whole bunch of things, but he said, "You, I, you know, I, I had to see Leroy's face for that." But um, and that's a whole inside joke. But um, and he said, "I don't want you to be his friend. You have to end the friendship." And I was in a what a conundrum, right? I'm like, this is a guy that's been here long before I even met him, right? This is a guy that when we had Hurricane Katrina, not Katrina, Lord have mercy, Irene. And all my food, and I had two little kids, right? All my food was going bad because the, the lights were out. Everything was out. He was like, bring all your food to mine. I'm going to house y'all to make sure y'all good. You know, I'm going to make sure, you know, just a solid friend, right? And when I had to call him and in that friendship, his heart was broken, he was like, but it's, he kept going like, and he has a voice, a deep voice, but he kept going, but it's me. Like, it's me. Like me. He kept saying, you're going to me. Right. And of course the marriage didn't last. And our friendship was, was never the same because of course, once I got divorced, you know, we started, you know, talking again and stuff. But, and, and this was a friend that was, he didn't trust nobody. He didn't trust nobody. So to let me in that way and how solid and tight we were, for me to break his heart in that way, I felt horrible. But then it is with the boundaries. If you're marrying someone and they say that, and some people might say, well, you shouldn't have done it. You should keep your friend. But I want to hear from you, um, Leroy, as, as a man, if you want to touch on what we asked earlier. Um, but I want to take a moment to just hear from the man here. Um, Leroy, would you ever ask your wife to do that? And what do you think about that? And then just give me your take on boundaries and what should happen. Mm, no, I, I would never ask my, <clears throat> ask my wife to do that because my best friend is, is a female. Well, so yeah, you can't do it. <laughs> You'd be a hypocrite. She, she'd be like, how you going to ask me to give up somebody? And you got a female that's a, that's a friend too. It would be... My, my thing is, is, is this, it, it, when it comes to that, because I, that scenario you just gave, that, that's a tough decision mm -hmm. that has been made, that has to be made. Mm -hmm. And and I know, like, my best friend, she's involved with a, with a guy, Earl, and everything like that. I know him. Come on, shout out to Earl. Everything like that. And, and we cool and everything like that. And I don't, I don't think he's ever asked her or demanded her, because they're not married, one, but they've been together forever. But um, but he's never said, hey, you can't have, you know, I, I need you to get rid of the friendship, you know, um, before or anything like that. <laughs> I think even if he did, she still wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she wouldn't do it. But but it be, that becomes that becomes dip, that becomes a difficult situation, to be honest with you, because like you just talked about, you were in a situation, you got married, you gave up a friendship. For your marriage and it mm -hmm. cost you that friendship mm -hmm. because of it and the and the marriage is gone it's long and, gone. and it would have been you and, see it yeah and, it's and, gone. and i understand his stance is like look you you chose the marriage which hey that's fine you put your, your husband before everybody else that's cool but mm -hmm. to to, to kind of what they say run the run the run the, uh, run the block again whatever they, yeah, they spin the block they say, spin the block and to come back yeah, it's been a lot, and 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 to you know to have that the friendship wasn't going to be the same, even mm -hmm. if you, even if you were you mm -hmm. all were to have still stayed friends, mm -hmm. the friendship still wouldn't have been the same. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 my friendship, uh, her name is Sandra. My friendship with Sandra, yeah, we have boundaries, and I respect it because that's that's her man, that's who she's with. So there's certain things, hey, we don't we don't hang out and all that. Like you said, we ain't going to the movies like we did before mm -hmm. and all of that and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Hanging out, that's not what we do, mm -hmm. you know. But we're still we're still friends, and and I mean we may have lunch here there or whatever just to mm -hmm. catch up. Well, it's like, hey, what's up? You know, what you doing or whatever? Let's mm -hmm. go grab something to eat. That type of thing, mm -hmm. you know. But 
but we but we had what we do have the we do have the boundaries and and she said she was the one that set them you know and she was like because of you know because like we were saying you gotta respect earl and i said cool we gotta that? respect you know earl. I won't, uh, <laughs> <laughs> earl sound like a name you know? that needs to be respected you guys respect mr yeah, earl so yeah, so I mean, it, 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 I mean that was the thing, but I think the the thing that that I think she, you know, that it, it has to be um, mature individuals, has to be mature men, has to be mature women to handle mm-hmm. um, the, the the relationships. But then too, you got to be up for you. Got, you have to be very transparent. Mm-hmm. They can't be, you know, they can't be things that you say. Well, yeah, we kind of did something back in the day. And, and they find out some kind of way, mm-hmm. you know, then it, then that really would, would, would damage everything, you know? So it's like, look, it, it, this friendship is here. And I don't know what conversation that she conversation that she's had with, with Earl, you know, <laughs> but it's like, look, we've been, we've been friends since college. We've been rolling like this for a long time. Mm-hmm. And, and, and our friendship, our friendship has boundaries. And that's because we're, we're going to respect the relationship, both of us going into it. Like, look, you know, we, we know what, you know, we know what it is. And, and, the, and same thing, you know, with, with me seeing someone, she do the same thing. You know, I say, hey, I'm, I'm going to respect the relationship. I was like, I can hear her now. I'll call you when I want to. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> See? You know, but, but there but they has but to be the, the, mm-hmm. mutual, the mutual respect. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, but with oh, with everybody, mm-hmm. with everybody. So let me everybody. ask you guys this so question. Me, but when you're dealing with it's a, no, go ahead, uh, go. You go, Regina. We all kind of said. Some from the you know the, of the your spouse, mm-hmm. and they feel lack of, and they get jealous of the relationship that you have with someone else because it's something in that relationship they feel that you're not giving them, or they mm. feel that they hate to see you happy when you're talking to an opposite sex person, mm. or you laughing about an inside joke that y'all have, and they feel like they outside, and they ain't like, laughing well, with you, they ain't laughing with you, but they laughing with them. I didn't know you. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you. So how could I tell you, you know, whatever happened in college, right. that was a joke. You're not going to get everything. <laughs> but it was, if it was a female, they wouldn't care. They'd be like, oh, these are a bunch of females. Right. Leave y'all by yourselves. Y'all can talk. But when it's a guy, right. they're intimidated. Because it's something about that relationship that they don't have with you. And they get mm-hmm. jealous of the fact. That, because they say, like, well, you laugh like that with me. Or you don't talk about that. Mm-hmm. Because it's, when we're friends, it's different. It's yep. a different type of relationship we have. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, it's just different. I can't describe. It's not better. It's not worse. It's not you're better. She. It's just different. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and it's uh, your people in your lives. Mm-hmm. They're gonna. They're gonna do that because if someone's gonna ask you to not be friends with someone that you've been friends with forever, you telling me to cut off a lifeline. That's what you told me to do. Cut off a lifeline, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. you're insecure. Mm-hmm. Because you're insecure, I gotta cut off someone. Mm-hmm. It's not like this person disrespects you. They didn't go, go over the boundaries. They didn't, you know. Why am I cutting? Give me the answer. Why am I cutting them off? Can you tell me why? Give me a good reason why I should cut right. them off. Mm. I can't give you a good reason because the person didn't do that. Wrong. Right. Yep. So, really, so most, do you think times, that people try? All of that mm-hmm. is 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 the ego. Mm, there you go. Yep. Yep. So let me ask you guys this. Let me ask you. And Regina, you and I both said that we, you know, talk to the wife or talk to the girlfriend or talk to the significant other. And Leroy, the same. You say she's not married, but you still respect those boundaries. Um, do you feel like the person whose friend it is has an obligation as well, whether it's if it's a woman's friend to tell, talk to their friend, hey, this is my my guy, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm going to fall back a little bit because I'm going to, you know, spend the time with them or this is my my woman. Like, you know, I know you'd be laughing all over me, but that's not a good look. Now let's talk about that physical touch because some people are touchy and huggy, Right. 
So if a, if a male has a female friend and she's all in his ear or she's hugging him all the time or touching him or the personal space, is that good? If a woman has a male friend and she always hitting him on his chest, you know, or touching his head or being like that, but they're just friends. Is that appropriate? Especially if the person, even if the person doesn't have a uh, Leroy shaking his head, go, because I've seen that happen with people say that they're friends, but the other person is disrespectful. So your mate may not be disrespectful, but sometimes that friend can be disrespectful to kind of pull their car. Like, like you were saying, Regina, I've known her first. So I've known him first. Leroy, are you shaking your head? What's that about? Cause no, I've seen because it. I think like we, like we've been saying, there has to be boundaries mm -hmm. and, and that's a boundary where it's like, look, mm -hmm. you know what? And, and if, if that person needs to be checked on that, then you check them. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to be in no mess. So you know better. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know better. Stop. Stop. You know. It. I get it. We we cool like that, and it doesn't mean anything to us. Yeah. But to uh, 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 as we was that ego thing, that, that jealousy thing. There you go. That, that's real. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then people people will do. So you just say, you know what? Let's not even let's not even go there with that. You know. And or even give them a reason to think that there is something, even if there isn't something. Yeah, you know, that that's all I that's all I that's, that's all good. I'm saying. Because people you know, people yeah, like to play. Too. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Friends yeah. can be territorial. Yeah. They have to prove their yeah. space. They have to mm -hmm. let the the guy or the woman <laughs> know I was here before you. This is what we do. And I think that's that ego. And I think the friends are threatened by the person that comes in, by the new man or new woman. So they got to do all of this flexing and that's the insecurity on their part. So we're talking about the insecurity on maybe the new person's part or we're talking or the old person or whoever's in a relationship. And But then we're also talking about the insecurity of the friend that has to let he or she know, right. I was here before you. You know what I mean? Um, and... So Regina, what type of personal... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it's a delay. I'm sorry. No, you go. Okay. Yeah. okay, go ahead. Finish up. It was a delay. Oh, no, I was just saying because of that um, personal space or personal touch, and it's, it's so important to create hard lines, you know, with some of those friends that are touchy-feely. Because both men and women could be that way. And I think if a man, I think, and Leroy is the man here, so you tell me. I think, who do you think will react quicker looking like, no, they ain't doing that. How do you think, like, if a, okay, say for instance, your female friend has a male friend. Your wife has a male friend. Or your girlfriend has a male friend. And every five minutes... He touching her on the, the small of her back or hitting her or helping her cross the street or whatever it is. And your man is sitting right there. Is your man steaming under the collar hotter than reverse? If the woman is all like <laughs> to your man, who is who is steaming hotter? <laughs> no, y'all, y'all, ladies, don't, don't get mad at me. Okay, I'm gonna say that, but I think I think it would be the woman that will react before the man. What you think, Regina? And, and I say that. Why you say that, Leroy? I think she's delayed. Uh, okay. Oh, no, no. no I, I thought you said she had said this, Leroy. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what I think it really is, is the person wants that availability to that other person. If you have a friend who's been your friend and, and y'all been through everything together and a lot of situations together, a lot of things going on, the access. I can call you three in the morning. I could come over your house at, you know, eight o'clock in the morning. I could talk to you anytime. See, <laughs> Leave that's thing about the phone. I think it's more of the availability than anything. Cause that's where you feel like, well, I can call you at three. I have, look, I have a trauma going on or I have a situation. You're my best friend. I have no one to talk to. So if I can't call you, what I'm gonna do? Because they it's a habit that they you you develop habits and now you gotta break them instantly. Mm -hmm. Like literally. Yeah. Yesterday I would be able to call you, but today I'm not. 
And that's the hard part. Today you big you red. That person is expo. My and office hours are. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to give you an example. You're available for them, and then all of a sudden you're going to turn around and say, oh, guess, guess what? That changed. I'm not available for you no more. You got to call <coughs> me between these hours, because if you call me after 8 or 9, my girl can be tripping. You know, but if I have the drama, I cannot judge it by time. Say, well, man, don't hurt my feelings yet. Wait until 8 in the morning. So I can call my best friend and talk about it. Like, it, it doesn't work. So it takes time, and that's what I think more people get upset about is availability. I think that's what it really is. <laughs> Let me, let me, I'm going to give y'all this story. Uh -oh. This is a true story. Uh -oh. It happened with me. I had, had a friend of mine, right? We, we hanging out. We cooling in the fan. And we had been, you know, we had been intimate before and everything like that. But we had left that alone, right? So I'm seeing somebody. This is, like you just said, Regina, this is somebody that had caught Blanche. She called me, could call me any time in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, whatever. <laughs> so I'm, I'm chilling. Me and me and my uh, my the, the young lady I was seeing at the, the time, we at my apartment. We we chilling or whatever. And this is about twelve one o'clock in the morning. My other friend, she's calling me. I'm like, look, you know, I got company. Let me call you back. Who over there? Who you got? <laughs> and I'm like, I chose another company. Went totally off. I'm like, I'm like, are you serious right now? Are you really serious right now? Like, you don't want to say, hey, we can only be friends. You didn't want to move beyond that and everything like that. So I'm like, I'm sitting there like, you cannot, you've got to be kidding me that you will get upset because I'm seeing someone and you said that you wanted to just be friends. Don't Ooh. come here with that. And you were calling me, you know, and I get it. That's the way that we roll when we weren't seeing somebody. But now that, that I'm seeing somebody, we can't roll like that where you can call me anytime, you know, in, in the midnight hour and everything like that just to holler at me. That's not how that works. But I just got hot. I, I mean, it was on a tell her to leave right now. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Leroy, you got some women. Leroy, let me find out. I thought you was. I thought you was. I thought you was a virgin all this time. Let me find out. You oh, I'm missing with you. Let me find out. You got the women going crazy. You always look good when somebody else wants you. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's like you look better. You looking at them from. You looking at them from the side like, hmm. Was that mole and dimple there the whole time? Was that you find you you're looking at it and that always happens when you are with somebody in a relationship the people come out the woodwork they be mm -hmm. in let me tell you something and and that just ha that happened with me and I talked to him about like the people in my DMs and the people it's like where was y'all before y'all wasn't in the DMs before <laughs> like you know what I'm saying well, and it's just like a job it's just like a job. You could be jobless forever, can't find mm -hmm. a job. As soon as you get that first job mm -hmm. and you take that offer, all of a sudden everybody can send resumes to call you. <laughs> <laughs> you, can that job. Mm -hmm. the same you could be single forever. And as soon as you start dating someone, all of a sudden everybody sees mm -hmm. how amazing you are. Mm -hmm. right. And then but I've had I've had <laughs> people this? jump in my DMs that I that I was friends with in the seventh grade. <laughs> Where I'm not making this up. I was in seventh grade, and just you know, I always had a crush on you. I remember you was my neighbor, and I look, and I always say, I'm telling you, I get a lot of those, and it's like, what is that? Where does that come from? But you just nailed it, nailed it on the head. Um, all right, so let me ask you guys this. Well, let me read this first, but that is so it's so true. So, can you be friends with somebody that you were intimate with? Can you still say, that's my brother, that's my friend, that's my, my you know, my homegirl, if you've done that? And do you think the person should tell the other person that? Or is it what's in the past is in the past? What do you all think? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm showing my face every time. That's I'm all right. I'm myself, showing my Thing. But Leroy, with that happening, that happens all the Listen, time. It happened to me. Le uh oh, let's talk about it. Mm 
Regina, go ahead, girl. I think that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, I <laughs> you had to think that, about what you want to um, use your well, words. I don't think. Right? I know. I did it. I did it before. I was with someone. We were friends, 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 and then we just had this one night. I guess curiosity killed the cat, and you kind of want to know, <laughs> you know, how that is. And then after that, we was like, how what was? Right, what you do? We, you know, we how was, what? What you do? Huh? What you say? How what? Curiosity what? killed the cat. No, you were like, that, what like, you were? Like, you were like this? About each other. Like a puzzle? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, curiosity killed the cat. So you was gonna have that situation, kind of see how that goes. But we didn't do anything after that. We were just still just friends. Like I guess it was just the, the tension of just trying to be together. I guess we just had that tension. I guess I don't know. I was young. I was in my twenties. So. so does that count? Um, if it was one time, but, does yeah, it count? I, but we friends today, and we never even, we haven't even talked about it, mentioned it. It just happened, and we rolled on with it, and we still friends. We didn't try to make a relationship out, I mean, relationship mm-hmm. out of it or anything. We just did what we did, and we <clears throat> were done with it. So is that the guideline? So, is that the guideline? Is it, is the guideline if it only happened once, or you wanted to, to, um, to 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 enter your you know the 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 the, the curiosity you wanted to wrestle with the curiosity and you did it and then you realized because Trey Song said he wished he never did it that's a whole song he messed up his friendship I wish I never did it y'all know the song uh-huh. yeah. yeah I wish that's I like never I love this song. No, I never heard yeah. that was that's a good song oh, you Be- never heard that, that's song. what his song yeah. the song is Not about yeah I don't, I don't that. Yeah, I okay. wish I never did it is a good song, but he's saying that he had a friendship and they crossed the line mm-hmm. and he wished he never did it because sometimes it's difficult to see your friend again, especially if you've seen them in horizontal positions. It's, you know, or you've yeah. seen them in an intimate way, you can't unsee that. And you know, and that might still be something that's that's lingering or you're embarrassed or whatever it is. So I think that that would probably be be difficult, but that's what he sings about in that song. It wasn't for me. You just moved Not on. Not with that person. I guess the count who the person is, but with that person, it wasn't difficult. But like I said, I, that was the only time I ever did that. I never did that any other time. Yeah. Um. I always, I I, I get along with God so well. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. It's just that. I I have God friends, and I guess it's just a feeling of it. Just the the the, the transparency, the openness. Mm-hmm. You can kind of help each other because you're a male, I'm a female. Mm-hmm. We can kind of talk about certain things, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I always like male friendships, mm-hmm. so I never really crossed the line like that. But that was the only time I did it. And I guess I was in my twenties, and I didn't know who I was. I was just whatever, you know. Yeah. If, if I was that today, I would never done it. Yeah. Never done. It. Yeah. yeah. It's not worth it. All right, so and this and you know and it's not worth it. And some friends end up doing it, and then they end up being together. So what about when people say friend? If you're friends, that's the best mate to have. Is that the same thing, or is that different, Leroy? No, I think I think it, I think to me that means the same thing. You you want your you want your spouse to be your best friend. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They should be that person that you lean on, that you that you're doing um, all of the things that you like. You were saying, Kendall, earlier, you, you're hanging out, you're watching movies, you, you're going out to dinner, or you're going to events together and everything like that. That's that person that you that you hang with, that you're with. They should be your best friend. You should be able to share yep. with your with your husband or your wife everything. They they, they should be able to see the good, the bad, mm-hmm. and the other in mm-hmm. the whole relationship and yeah. everything like that. Now, now, someone that's your your best friend that is, you know, that that may be your that may be of the opposite sex. You you're gonna curtail that because, especially, you know, if you have if you have a, a spouse now, then that mm-hmm. definitely curtails. But mm-hmm. like he was saying, even the even with the even with having my best friend as a female, like I said, we we have not. I don't mean neither one of us have gone to the movies in years. But but even with that, it's not like we we hang it out. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. One, we're too old. We teach each other. We teach each other right now. So. <laughs> 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 but but the thing is, it's like hey, 
you know, that, that part, we'll, we'll talk about things that are going on. She'll tell me what's going on, you know, with her family, with Earl and everything like that and, and stuff. So that connection is still there, but it's not like we're, we're hanging out. Whereas if I had, um, I can say, if, when I have a wife, it's going to be she and I doing what we do, hanging out or, you know, going out, going to the movies, hanging, going to, you know, traveling, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever we're going to do, creating the memories that we have. It's because the difference between creating memories yeah. with a spouse, then there is creating memories with the with the best friend that you just happen to be hanging with. Yeah. You know, like that. There's a difference in that. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think you should be married to your best friend. I think the problem is nowadays with, with the way that relationships are and why relationships aren't successful is because people haven't taken the time to get to know each other. Mm-hmm. It's it's this superficial transactional type of, of relationships or, or, you know, marriages and everything like that, where it's like, nah, you know, I can't, I can't talk to them about that. You, you should be able to be transparent oh, yes. with, with the person that you, and I'll put it like this, because I told, I told these guys one time, and, and one of the guys was saying, well, he can't share that with, with his wife. I'm like, dude, you lay next to this woman each and every night. Come on. And you mean to tell me you can't share that with her? Uh-huh. Something wrong with that if you can't share that with her. Mm-hmm. She lays next to you every single night. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, nah, you should be able to share everything with that person that, you, that you're that intimate with. That's right. Sure. That's intimacy. That's intimacy That's to right. me. That's intimacy, being able to share those, 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 those your most vulnerable you know, thoughts, your most vulnerable feelings with that person. Yeah. That, that, that's real intimacy, not the, not the, the, the sexual part yeah. of it, the being able to share your You're vulnerability right. with them. Yeah, you talking you know? right. You talking absolutely right. You agree, Regina? I sure do. I sure do. He I broke mean, that down, didn't he? Yes, he did. I mean, you have to be vulnerable and you have to be open and, you know, like you said, a best friend should be inside of your relationship. Yes, your husband and wife should be your mm-hmm. best friend. They should be your best friend. You have Potomac best friends and you right. have your spouse, right? right? So when I was married, I had two best friends, well, girlfriends, you know, and I had a guy, I have a guy best friend since we was in high school. He was in my wedding. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My husband got along fine. He was at my wedding. We, you know, we didn't hang together all the time. No, mm-hmm. no. But, you know, once right. in a while, maybe a couple times a year, we'll, he'll come over or something like that. We went to mm-hmm. high school together. So we had that respect factor. So it wasn't like a situation he was all over my house all the time. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, come on now. You can't come over here all the time. <laughs> yeah. That's right. He respected right. the marriage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He respected. He was there when it happened. So he respected the marriage when I was married. But... I do agree with that, you know. Yes, you could meet someone and they end up being your friend and you take your time. I think, um, Leroy, you said something about like taking your time mm-hmm. and getting to know mm-hmm. a person. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. a lot of times when you, when you take your time to get to know a person, they become your friend. And then, you know, you may see some kind of uh, relationship out of that. If you're friends, right. yeah. Or maybe right. it's meant to right. be your friend. Because like right. we were talking... as you progress and get to know a person. Yeah, like we were talking about yeah. earlier. Leroy and I are friends. Mm-hmm. Me and Leroy ain't never hung out to go get no dinner, no get no ice cream, take a walk in the park, go let <laughs> let's go drive to the water. We ain't never done that. You know, me and Leroy have had business meetings, but Leroy ain't never been to my house. I've never been to his. We never invited anybody. You know what I mean? So there are certain when you there are people that can be friends and there are people who straddle that line where you can tell if that's her man or that's his woman. You can't tell the difference. And those type of friendships, those are the type of friendships. And I see both of you shaking your head. Yes, those are the type of friendships that have murky water. Um, both of you shook your head to that. Why? Because that's what it is. That That's a person who wants, they, they want to be safe, mm-hmm. right? So they want to be safe. They want to play the friend but they don't want to get hurt. So they trying to kind of like do the blue fence thing. They want to kind of stay straddle the fence. So when the opportunity happened, they could drive in, but they don't want to take the chance and then say, hey, you know what? I really like you. 
I didn't expect this, but it happened. I like you. You know, what we're going to do about this? Mm -hmm. Instead of you just being honest and saying it, you're like, well, I don't want to get hurt, so I'm going to play your friend until I see the opportunity open for me to, you know, for us to kind of make that work. Yeah. So you're going to sit around for a couple of years, and when the other person really thinking you, y'all just friends and don't want to mess up the friendship, you're really in it just because you want to get a, like a double dutch. You know what I'm saying? You try to do the little skip in and try to get in and try to fit <laughs> when that time happened. Yeah. So... I don't think that you should do that because that's how you're going to get hurt. Yeah. Because that first AFC is a friend. You're going to get get mad at them because they're like, well, I thought we just friends. I'm going to mess up our friendship. Yeah. You can't get mad. Libra, are you shaking your head about to fall off? What you thinking? No, I think that that is, that is so true. When people have have hidden agendas mm -hmm. when people want to kind of well i just i'm gonna just sit in the cut mm -hmm. and, until you know until that person messes up mm -hmm. you know it, it really that really really works out i'm gonna mm -hmm. be honest with you because you're not being you're not being honest with with yourself and you're not being honest with that person that you do have true feelings for yeah you know you, you have to be you have to be willing to let the the friendship you know whatever transpired happened. I had a young lady, this was way back in the day, she had seen me and my buddy in high school. He, he had, they, they had dated in high school. And we stayed, she and I stayed friends, right? So we wound up, you know, we wound up, uh, and I would spend time at the house, her mom loved me and everything. Mm -hmm. and, and it was like, she was like, Leroy, I couldn't, I couldn't go there with you. She said, because I know my record, with with you know with men she's like and i don't want to lose the friendship mm -hmm. with and 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 so i was like and i was i was i was you know and everything like that and 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 i i did have some feelings for her but mm -hmm. i was willing to say you know what i'm not gonna go there you know just because you know because like she said and i and i agreed with her i didn't want to lose the friendship the yeah. friendship meant more to you know to us than being in a relationship that might or might not work out, yeah. you know? And, and so you, ha you, you have to be, you have to be honest about your feelings and you got to yeah. be honest about, you know, just where, you know, is the friendship, you know, deeper than a, a by chance relationship. Yeah. Because it, it's going to, if you do decide to go further and take it beyond friendship, yeah, you got to think about the consequences of it. Yeah. If it does not work out, it's not going back to the friendship. I promise you, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it, it very rarely will that happen. I just really, I don't think that rarely happens. Not saying it can't happen or that it doesn't happen, but I promise you, it very rarely happens that when you cross that line that you go back, you can go back to just being friends. You can't ring the bell. You, know? you can't ring, unring yeah. the bell. All right, so I have a scenario and then we're going to remix this thing. So I had a, a friend and I actually witnessed this and um, he had a female friend, right? And it's, it's one of my, one, somebody I know, I don't, I don't want to say somebody I know, and I witnessed this and he had a female friend and his female friend was nice looking and he kept talking about how nice looking his, don't she look nice? She looked nice. And she was talking about her body. He was saying how, you know, she's nice. He was talking about her hair, all of this. And the wife is right there. And I felt uncomfortable. We're sitting at their cookout, right? And I felt uncomfortable. I was like, like he was going on and on and on. And she told me later they had a conversation about that. And he was like, you know, we just friends, right? But then found out later you already know so what do you think about that if somebody like that's just like if i'm with my man and i just keep talking about you know look at his outfit look at his hair look at his this look at his that look at his this like i would be totally out of line and disrespectful and that's my friend so even though we're not blind you shouldn't i personally think you shouldn't be looking at your friends that way what do you guys think both of y'all shaking your head. <laughs> well, I, if you if you're gonna they do that, look, conversation. I, yeah, you, you, yeah. There is no. I talk to you later. <laughs> that wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we 
you ain't talking to nobody later. I need to talk to you right now. <laughs> right, right now. That's Regina. Regina's like, nope, right now. <laughs> I'm like, y'all excuse us for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand how you disrespect your wife like that. Yeah. You could yeah. say, yeah. you know, like, you see, men don't say you look not nice just to say it to a friend like that, unless it's a situation you go into a prom or you dressed up for something. Not prom. Like, you know, like, oh, you look nice. Like, easy, don't say that. You know, so for for someone to keep on and not just saying it, complete, keep saying stuff over and over and the yeah. hair, the body, the yeah. this, the that. I watch it. The wife was like, well, what am I, chop me? And I kept looking at her. And I kept looking at her, and then my friend, I'm like, and he just, he was, it, it was like normal business to him. And I'm looking at her, and I'm sitting there awkward the like. didn't start at the cookout. That's been going mm-hmm. on for a while. Yeah. And just switch yeah. on at the cookout. Yeah, so he and that, gave him permission to treat yeah. her like that. Yeah. That and, 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 She yeah. didn't get and that, but like, from when it happened before, yeah. and before. Before and before, for him to do it that that nicely, like I always say, when someone does something and don't even stutter, yeah. they've done it before, so it happened yeah. before. And, so and, and that's brother obviously. Yeah, you just witnessed yeah. something that they've been doing already. Yeah. It's new yeah. to you, yeah. and you like what and what, but it's not new to her. If she can sit like this and just listen to that, no move. Yeah. And he was on the grill, just yeah. he was on the grill, just flipping them burgers, just talking like, "Oh, you look nice." He's like, and the wife was right there. And he was like, "Oh, you got your hair there. Oh, okay, your hair look nice." And he talking about, "Oh, okay." And he was literally at the grill doing that, and she was right there. We were all right there. We were I'm all right concerned there. about her. I yeah. mean, him too much. I've been concerned about her mm-hmm. because obviously there's something missing with you that yeah. you feel this is okay. Yeah, it's really you. You, yeah. you, you, you have low self esteem mm-hmm. that's something going on with you yeah. cause so she you said that's how he always not is saying nothing it's not but him mm-hmm. cause he's doing what you allow mm-hmm. him to do mm-hmm. yeah and he mm-hmm. obviously didn't mm-hmm. <laughs> he didn't read the he didn't need the he didn't read the manhood um, uh, manual you, you don't you don't do that that's that's not something that you do because it is to, to me that's a red flag if, if, yeah. if he's gonna talk about his friend yeah. more like that than he does his wife or his, you know, his girlfriend. Yeah, you know, and and in front of him. that, that's that's the kicker right there. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he has no regard for her feelings, you know, yeah. and 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 how, you know, but but like Regina was saying too, she has to she has to have enough respect for herself to mm-hmm. be like, what, what, what's that about? Yeah, you know. But you teach people you know, how to treat you. Even, you teach people yeah, how to even treat she you. Says she, yeah. And when the thing is, you, go ahead, Leroy. No, but even though you you said she she um you know she asked him about it, he's like, oh no no, no that ain't nothing. That's just how we how we. He do said it, that's you know? my what he like, his exact words is, you know that's my that's my home girl. That's what he said. Yeah, that's my home yeah, girl. Yeah. 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 yeah that, I, I gotta be your home girl too, cause you treat home girls better than you treat your wife. So <laughs> yeah, then you're home, home yeah. girl. Facts. You know. Yeah, and I was like, uh, yeah. but and, and that's the same thing. But I think as a man, okay, so Leroy, as the man on the panel, so as the man, if if homeboy walked in, you like, dang, look at that shape up. Okay, you know, you looking good. Like, where you get the you? Okay, your butt look nice in them jeans. Like that man would flip the. He'd be like, hold up. Like I don't think a man would sit there and accept that. What do you th- what do you think? I don't know. I'm not a man, so I'm asking you. No, it, I mean it's the, it's the same thing where you be like, really? You know, it it, it, it might have been a look first, and then when they kept on doing it, it's like, no, nah, let me holler at you for a minute. Mm-hmm. You know, what 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 what's 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 the, all of that about? Yeah, and 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 to me, it, they're gonna call. Oh, you ain't got nothing to worry about. It, it, that, Stop being jealous, because that's the first thing they're gonna they're gonna throw oh, at you. Yeah. Oh, you just insecure. You just yeah. insecure. You just jealous. No, that's but that's gaslighting. That's gaslighting. That's yeah. gaslighting, and that's yeah. yeah, that's emotional manipulation. Yeah, I, I get it. If you say it once, hey, that's cool. You know, you 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 acknowledging that your that your friend looks good and everything like that. But when it when it and it when it goes on for a good little minute, yeah, yeah, it's something more to it's something more to that. Mm-hmm. 
you know. And he he might have been more than likely trying to send a signal to the <laughs> to the side piece, you know. Like, look, I'm letting you know mm-hmm. that I, you know, I, I see you. Mm-hmm. Almost like um the the movie Why Did I Get Married when they sit. Oh they sit man, the Trina! You talking about Trina? <laughs> That's what you talking about, Trina. And, yeah. and they sitting there, and and he, you know, he's sleeping with the with the best girl, uh, with Jill Scott's best friend, Trina, and and. Yeah, Katrina, and, 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 you know, and everybody knew what was going on, but it's like, come on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, come on, no. But that's what I was talking about even in the beginning, how I am when, when somebody's in a relationship or married, I'm very respectful of that. You know, I'm, I even, I'm very respectful of the other woman. Like I said, I'm not going to be hanging out with your, just because he's my friend, right. he's your man or he's your husband. We not hanging out. We ain't going to the movies. We ain't going to the, to the picture show, to concerts, to eat no ice cream. Like we not doing that. Like you were saying, Leroy, that's reserved for your woman. You said that also, Regina. And I, and I respect that. Like I said, I ain't, yeah, come on over here and get these paper plates. Your wife there. That's the first thing I'm going to say, because I'm not, I'm going to respect that always. I'm definitely, I'm always going to respect another woman, even with my ex-husband and I'm friends with his wife. Like, that's not my husband anymore. I'm not calling him because we're cool and we're friends for him to come mow my lawn. You get what I'm saying? I would go through her or do something like that. And to me, I think that that's just respect. And I think a lot of people have just on the sake of, oh, yeah, that's my friend. That's my homegirl. That's my homeboy. And I think that strong boundaries need to to be set. So let's talk about that and round that out. So for partnerships and relationships... Uh, uh, I have four here. Set boundaries together. Discuss and agree on what is acceptable behaviors for both parties when it comes to the opposite sex friendships. Uh, Clear boundaries help avoid misunderstandings. Number two, you have to trust your partner. Trust is the foundation in the relationship. If your partner has a history of being trustworthy, try trust, uh, trusting them and their friendship as well. Um, if y'all trust is a little shaky, that, that may that may not work out well. Um, number three, stay involved. Be open to getting to know your partner's friend. As Regina, you and I were talking about, this can reduce feelings of insecurity and build a stronger connection between all parties involved. Number four, communicate your feelings. If you feel uncomfortable with your partner's friendship, discuss it openly and calmly. It's important to address any concerns before they escalate into big concerns. We talked about earlier about that female friend, Leroy, always touching and hugging and up in their personal space in their grill. And you said that's out of line. How how would that conversation go? How should that conversation go? If you're if she if you're with your woman, right, and the girl is key, 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 she all in the personal space. All, all whispering and touching and all of that, and you said that that was inappropriate. How would you have that conversation? Well, for, the way that I would handle it first is that she kept touching me. I'm gonna move your hand first. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know that I'm not gonna really say anything, but I'm gonna let you know by my body language. I'm gonna let you know. Oh, I'm gonna give you a look like, oh, stop that. And if they persist in it, it was like, come here. Like, what, what, what is that? Yeah, you know. It'd be like, what's going on? You know, what's the what's the deal? You know, what and they'd be like, no, it's it's like, come on, it's like, you know, my my, my wife is here, you know, and you're being, and it would be me saying, look, you're being disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and that that can't happen. Yeah. <clears throat> That's. Good. I just got. I'm gonna let you know. You no, know, what you're doing is disrespectful to her. Yeah. You know, and 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 you should as as a as a as a man. Men, hear me. You should not allow anyone to disrespect your woman, Come on and now. you should not be disrespectful to, you know, to your to your to your woman in that way, and allow it to happen. Because you're being disrespectful if you don't address it, if you don't allow it to happen. Yeah, you know, that, that that's how it would to me. That's how I would handle. It. That's, that's how good. I would go. Somebody may may deal with it something different, but for me, yeah, I'm gonna let you know first because I'm I'm move your hand and everything like that. And then I'm gonna give you a look, and if you keep going, it'll be like I'm like come here, and you know pull it to the side and be like what's going on, mm-hmm. you know, 
to find out what's up. You're like, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. No, obviously something in you because you, you act like, you know, you all, you want to be all touchy feel. And, and especially if this is something that they normally don't do. Yeah. Then you know, yeah, they trying to, like you were saying earlier, they trying to let it, let it let be Let you know. know. Like, uh, like, like, <laughs> like Regina said, they're trying to be territorial to let the, 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 the girlfriend or the yeah. wife know, like, I was here first, like Regina was saying earlier. Yeah. Yeah, that territorial. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. What it, so, yeah. so, and that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. So, for the person in the relationship, I have three. Balance your time. Ensure that your romantic relationship remains your priority while it's healthy to maintain friendships. Um, your partner should not feel neglected or secondary. Um, two, be transparent. Keep your partner informed about your friendships and ensure they feel included rather than excluded from your life. Number three, reassure your partner. If your partner feels insecure about the friendship, provide reassurance and be willing to adjust um, the behavior and maintain that trust. Trust is the key. What do you guys think? So that's what I was going to ask you all. That's what I was going to ask you all as, as women, if you're in a situation like that, a public situation, and you have, you know, you have your, your, your boyfriend or your, your husband mm -hmm. that's there, and you know his, his friend is there, do you do you want him to give you like that that special uh a little more special attention so that it is known hey i'm here with you it's about us it's not about you know uh the, you know my best friend or, or others that are that are here mm -hmm. regina you want to answer first that's a good question i'm oh, sure yeah um i think you that down. the relationship that I would be in when I get married again. Come on, it would be it. like that anyway. Mm -hmm. So it won't be a situation you had to play like acting and, and right. giving more attention because that's mm -hmm. what you're gonna be doing anyway. Okay, girl. So, and we're gonna right. do that to each other. That's I right. Like that. so that's I gonna like be that. an automatic thing. So there yeah. will be no one to be able to get in the middle of what it is because they're gonna know from day one. Secondly. Yeah. When you start dating someone, I think it's, it's good to tell them, especially, you know, like you said, Leroy, you had a friend, you have, your best friend is a female, period. Mm -hmm. She's been mm -hmm. there, she's there. Mm -hmm. I would just nicely say when you first start dating someone, say, right. you know, hey, I just want to let you know that I have a best friend, it's a female, but we've been friends since college. And how do you feel about that? Yeah. And just let them talk. Mm -hmm. right. say, like, yeah. how, how do you feel right. about that? And, uh, yeah. you know, a lot of times they just want to be good because they want to, you know, they don't want to mess up and then rock the boat. They're going to probably... They agree with everything? <laughs> yeah, agree with everything you say. But they, don't want, they don't want to say, you know, mess this up. So they're going to be... They'll be like, you can have 10. You can have 10 go. girlfriends. But, I'll accept them all. <laughs> but you asked, and they told you. So I'm going by what you told me. I'm not going by what you thought you were going to tell me later. I'm going by what you said to me now. Yeah. So you... You said it was okay, so we should be okay. Yeah. But I would say that yeah. at the beginning. So that would be out of the way, you know. And then you could set the boundaries with your friend and say, you know, I'm dating someone now. Or even talk about it now, even before you start dating someone. Yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. right. That's a great conversation yeah. to have. Yeah. Like, you know, we start, you know, I know right now we, we ain't dating nobody, but when that time comes, you know, I'm gonna have, we can't be doing all this, right? Right. Like, right. We can't be we can't be sharing the slurpee, the slurpee out the same the straw. <laughs> we can that we can cut off. You know, you already gotta know what's gonna happen when y'all start dating people. Yeah, fellas, it is in your best interest to to let them know because you don't need your best friend that's the opposite sex rolling up and and getting jealous or whatever or and and, and saying the wrong name. Oh, what you want to say so last week? <laughs> Trying to let her know, oh, man. My bad. My bad. <laughs> you are now. I, know. I thought you, I thought you, you know, were you the know. other one, like trying to throw shots. I was here for all the other ones. I thought you was the other one. I'm sorry. Hey, Trina, <laughs> That's shady. Tina, Trina, Tina, what you? Like that DMX song. Like the DMX song. We need it. Naming all the people. And ladies, but think think about this. Ladies, if you're out with your guy, right, and you see 
all your friends. You can't be all down the line every time you are. Oh, that's my friend. That's my homeboy. Oh, that's my best friend. Oh, that's my homeboy. He going to be looking at you like, how me hold up? Hold up. You know, <laughs> something is not like the other. Like, what is going on here? Like, those are all your, your you know, all your friends or whatever. That's hilarious. But I think it's about, it's about trust and healthy conversation, right? To be able to, you know, if there's nothing to hide, there's nothing to hide. And you're not going to have a healthy relationship if you're hiding things. You're not going to have trust if you are not telling the truth. It's, it's best to be just open and transparent because you never want your guy or your woman in the same place where you calling somebody a friend and y'all done, you know, made whoopee like back in the day. Right. Like you, you, to me, it's like you're setting your person up and he's sitting in the room like, Hey, how you doing? You the friend and all of that. And he didn't had your woman or you don't, he done had your man. I think it's, it's best to kind of clear the air and really value the friendships that you have. And, you know, I told you guys my story where I had to remove a friend and it was painful to him and it was, and it hurt my heart because it was a true friend. But, you know, you want to respect your relationship and it's almost like a catch 22. What do you do? Right. So then you end up seeing, OK, you know, you have to have conversations with that. And sometimes they are tough conversations. Um, like we all said, doesn't mean that you get rid of a friend. You shouldn't do that. But I believe the boundaries need to be set. You can't be with that said friend every single day. Like every time you talk, let me call you right back. My friend's on the phone. Let me call you right back that he's on the phone. Let me call you right back. Like, hold up. Like, what's going on? Why y'all laughing? <laughs> because honestly, because there's some folks that do that. Yeah. There's folks yeah. that do that. Yeah. And, and don't understand, don't, don't get it or understand it. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you've got to be on both ends of that. You've got to be, you got to be mature enough. You've got to be adult enough. To be able to understand. And if you can't hammer it, then, it, then say that. You know what? Yeah, I'd just rather not be, then you know, kind of know that there might be some feeling there. But then you're like, look, I'd just rather not be friends with, you know, with you. Or I'd just rather have, you know, hey, let's limit it, you know, where we, we, we talk ever so often or whatever and everything like that. And of that, and if you if you if you good with that, then you have to set those what the what the structure of the relationship mm -hmm. is going to look like. Mm -hmm. and, and like Regina said, even before you meet somebody, you know, or even before one or the other has somebody, because once once either one of you meet somebody, then all of a sudden the dynamics got to change anyway. Yeah. But if you have those conversations, then you already know what it is. Yeah. You already know what that's going to look like. Yeah. They, they can't be, no, nah, we, 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 we set the expectations for. Them. Yeah. True. You know? and, and I got two male friends right now that I'm trying to set up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to match make. I'm trying to get my single female friends and my single male friends. I got two, I got two prospects right now. So if there's somebody that I like or I'm with, I ain't setting them up with nobody. You know what I mean? So you, it's subtleties and subtle things that you, you also look at to see. But this has been a great conversation. All right, this is Remixing Relationships. So we're going to talk quickly how we're going to remix it. As I said, have honest conversation with your mate and possibly the friend. Um, as um, Regina was saying earlier, or the friend, reach out and um, set boundaries. That's how we remix it. Work on building um, a deeper connection with trust. You can't control another person's desires, but the mate can have a conversation with the friend, like Leroy said, if it gets out of line and it's too, the, the, the lines are murky. Because this is the thing, this is how you can tell. If someone sees a man out with his female friend and they can't tell if they together, boyfriend or girlfriend, or if somebody sees a woman with her male friend and it looks like they may be on a date, then that might be too close for comfort. You shaking your head, Leroy. Tell me what you're thinking. No, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. You, you gotta let, you know, if it, if, it, if it has that appearance, more than likely, that's what it is. Yeah. You shaking your head. You agree with that, Regina? Yeah, because yeah, if you are playing that, like I said, that little 
around that fence thing saying we mm-hmm. friends, but yet I'm flirting with you. Mm-hmm. Right. You just wait. You just you know instead of you just man and a woman up, you just want to play. A lot of people, you know, they play that back door role, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. They play like, oh, I'm your friend, back door, because mm-hmm. they they not. I don't, I, first of all, that's not attractive mm-hmm. at all. Mm-mm. If you like mm-hmm. me, just say you like me. Mm-hmm. Don't play the back door and just waiting for the door to open mm-hmm. somehow and go, oh, I always <laughs> like you. They try to come through the doggy uh, door. No, uh, that's not cool. That's not mm-hmm. cool. <laughs> she said that. The that door. happened to me. The minute I, the minute I said I was, the minute I said that I was going through a divorce, he was like, uh, "Listen here." Um, and we used to call each other brother and sister. Like everybody, and then he was like, um, well, I've wanted to be more than your friend for a long time, but you kept those strong boundaries, but now, and he shot his shot. And that's why I'm saying sometimes you can know somebody for a long time, and you think you have friends for a long time, but sometimes people do wait in the wings, as we talked about earlier. Huh? You should tell them, can the ink dry on the paper? Can the ink dry? Can I sign? Man, I didn't even let the ink dry. But wait, honey, I didn't even do that. I was just talking about going down there to file. I ain't even filed yet. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but folks, and you know, and some people are. And like you said, um, somebody said earlier, things could change. I think you said it, Regina, where it might start out as a friend. And we was like, hmm, the way that he has the twinkle in his eye or the way her... Her smile lights up the room, or whatever it is, you start looking at people differently, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. conversation. And, and if you spend time with somebody long enough, it is a possibility if you're a woman and a man. But can men and women be friends? That was the question. Absolutely. Um, boundaries have to be set, and conversations have to be had. And every friendship is not a sexual friendship or somebody waiting in the wings. You know, every friendship is not somebody that they used to be with and now they decided to be friends. You, some people are, you know, there's those two. And like Regina said, if it only it happened once, <laughs> we friends, you know what I mean? But um, I'll give you guys the, <laughs> the final word. How would you remix this type of situation? Um, I'll start with Leroy. Well, I, I think the way that you you re- remix it, if you will, is, is to me, it's just about being transparent. It's about being open. And it's about setting the last part is setting the boundaries. That to me, the boundaries give you everything. It, it gives you, it's going to tell you whether or not the relationship can endure, you know, the, the, the friendship can endure or whether it can't. Because if you if you put the boundaries and that person is not willing to respect or to uh, adhere to those boundaries, then you know it's like, look, yeah, we, we can't we can't do this because I'm not going to disrespect the person that I'm with. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that to them because I wouldn't want I wouldn't you wouldn't want me to do that to you if you were in a relationship. You know, and I think when you look at it from, you know, to me, when from that perspective, I think you, you put a new, you know, take on it. You see it from a different lens, if you will, and, and, you, and, you, and you leave it to where there's no room for, for, for doubt. This is what it is. This is the way that it, it's either going to move forward or it's going to move forward, you know, without us moving forward together. Love but it. You got you to gotta be willing to do that. Love you know? it. How would you remix it if, if somebody, you know, is having that conversation, Regina, about friendship or possibly asking somebody to leave a friendship or to set stronger boundaries? How would you remix that? Because it's about promoting healthy relationships. So we've already established that men and women can be friends. But as Leroy and I stated, boundaries have to be set. Trust has to be there and conversations have to be had. What do you think? I think like it's like the remix. <laughs> I really think that <laughs> it's um, <laughs> communication is the key. Communication is the key. Um, I think early conversations is um, a, a must, and you need to know where y'all stand with certain things. You know, I think a lot of it will be nipped in the bud, if, like that cookout situation you told us about. <laughs> if the conversations were had before. Mm-hmm. 
that cookout would never happen, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we have to be honest and open at the beginning. We got to let people know and be transparent. Like you said, we were like, you got to let them know, hey, by the way, I just want to let you know I got a BFF and it's a female. How you feel? Or, you know, hey, you know, we used to do this, but we can't do this no more. Like, you just got to kind of just walk through it. Just do it from the mm -hmm. beginning so it don't feel awkward. You don't want to make it feel like you're just doing a straight cut with a scissor. You just want to kind of right. just nicely take it through its transition. Take it through the stages. So don't feel like it's one mm -hmm. thing, one time, I have it cut and now you you feeling like, you know, you haven't had a fix. <laughs> and that's where a lot of people have these, these territory issues because they feel like they, they, got, they cut off their supply. And now they, they twitching because they used to talking to you and they used to seeing you and they used to doing this. And all of a sudden, this woman comes around and I can't call you no more. I can't see you no more. And that's where the problem goes. It's called yeah. what you're not going to do is, you know, that's where we at now. So we don't want those kind of conversations. So you just got to nicely do it early enough so it won't be an issue later on. Right. So that's my I agree. And, and get to know the friend. Get to know the friend and vice versa, you know, and have the conversation, you know, you, the, the male, your your man meet the man friend, your woman meet the woman friend, and, and try to have that conversation as you guys talked about. What do you say, Leroy? No, just, just real quick, even to what Virginia was saying, too, we've got to be careful, too, when it comes to, you know, and whether it's a, a male best friend or whether it's a female best friend, we've got to be careful of, of, of ditching our friends for relationships too. It, 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 it even beyond that because if the French, if the relationships do end, then you want to go back and start hanging with your friend, you know, you, you got to and expect it to be cool, but, but you disappear because you got a man or because you got a woman. Yeah, like, give that so we have to be careful of that too but I do believe like what you were saying yeah once you get to a certain level you know that that relationship is getting serious and that it's moving moving it's gotten you know so it's like look yeah we, we, I can't you know I can't hang like I used to can't do we you know can't do what we used to do hey because this is serious mm -hmm. you know this is serious man and and I think when you're transparent in that way, I think everybody all around can respect So that. you're saying be and transparent with the friend, too. Be transparent with the yeah. friend saying this is serious. Got it. Absolutely. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. All right, y'all. So what you yeah, think about the I conversation? That's the, what you think? Oh, good. This is really good. It's good to hear, like, someone's opinion about it and, you know, kind of see because I learned from y'all today because there's certain things that, you know, I didn't think about either. And what you just said, people do that in general. Like, mm -hmm. people yeah, actually right. cut their friends off. Men, women, <laughs> yep. or everybody. They cut them off yep. and get a, a, a significant other. And they're like, oh, it didn't work out. Yeah, mm-mm. Because that's really you using me now. Like, you only want me right. around when he's not there. We're grown now. Like, come on, we don't do this. Mm -hmm. Like, we're not teenagers. Stop it. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. So I so I wanted so when I think we definitely did it differently, and of course I'm going to remix even the conversation and the topic. Can men and women just be friends? We're not just talking about yes, and the podcast is over in five minutes. We broke it down all the way down. Like Love Jones says, what what it say? Our favorite movie, Libra. What it say? So it can forever. It. Go ahead. It be broke. That's what That's right. Ever. <laughs> be broke so we're going to end this conversation like Leroy said if you say you want to be somebody's friend then it ain't no take backs Leroy said the girl put him in the friend zone and then he was dating somebody else and then she want to be all up in his ear like what she doing she want to be friend ain't no takes backs if you say you want to be just friends then that's where it's going to be put a, a pen in it we just friends ain't no take back right Leroy <laughs> yep, absolutely. All right, I want to I want to thank my guest today, Regina Smithwick. She again is an author, a motivational speaker, a business owner, a television personality, and she has so many different jobs and wears different hats. And most importantly, she's my home girl who loves 
um, new edition. My brother, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., he is the impact builder. I call him Little Clarence Avon because he will network and connect you. Both of y'all are actually in that way. Both of you are the female version of that, Regina. But you will connect some people, connect the dots, and make things happen. He is an author. of. Uh, he owns a publishing company, and so on and so on and so on. Tell the people how they can get in touch with you, how they can purchase your books. Let me go? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, thank you all so much, for, um, Kendall. As always, thank you for allowing me to grace your platform. I am Regina Smithwick. As you see, my website is right there, www.rsenterprises.life. Everything that I'm doing, everything I'm a part of, everything that God has given me to be a servant um, over is on that website. So yeah. just check it out and um, hope that I see you on social media platforms. Everything's on my website. Yes. Thank you. All right. Another enterprises. We got two enterprises here. Leroy, tell the people how they can get in contact with you and how they can purchase your books and products. Yeah, sure. They can um, connect with me through LinkedIn, and it's um, I don't want to say Linktree. I don't have to the HTTP mm -hmm. open in front of all of that, but it's Linktree l i n k t r dot e e forward slash j n f enterprises. You can see all of the different um, things that we have on there, including. And, and I don't know, did I send you the um, the thing, um, uh, uh, Kendall, for the for the Unleash the your entrepreneurial ex? Um, the book, did I send you the cover? I'm not sure. I'll check okay. Facebook. Okay. Is that the one you were asking what I think about the cover on Facebook? Is that the one? Yeah, 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 awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yes. yeah, because that's the, that's the latest book that's coming out. Uh, it, I'm doing pre-orders now, so you can pre-order it. Um, it'll be out in September uh, next month, the end of next month. So um, you can check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a phenomenal, phenomenal book. I was doing the final touches on it. I'm, I'm excited about it because this entrepreneurship thing is, is real, you mm -hmm. know, and, and I want us as entrepreneurs to operate in excellence and, and uh, so that we keep the doors open. Got to keep the doors open. So. Amen. <laughs> and I'm Kendall Anise, and you can follow me on all social media platforms at Kendall Anise and TikTok, the Remix Coach. And Leroy, can you tell the people what they need to do right here? Tell the people what they need to do. <laughs> what what is it? Uh oh. What, tell the people what they need to do with, with my YouTube. Oh, y'all, hey, stop playing. Y'all, y'all better go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like, share, and comment. We want to hear your comments too. What y'all think about the topic tonight or the conversation tonight? I just the topic of the conversation. So go on and hit that, hit that, hit that, uh, hit that, uh, hit that subscribe button so you can know where Miss Kendall Lanise is gonna be next or when she's gonna be on on next. Cause y'all know she all, all over the place. She like a Jamaican. She got like twenty jobs, man. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. But definitely, whether you're watching live or uh, the playback, definitely comment. I thank you for joining me today and my guests as we explore new ways to remix and strengthen relationships. Remember, healthy connections are within our reach and together we can create the love and the life we deserve. Again, my name is Kendella Nice, your fave life coach, the remix coach, signing off with a reminder, the power to transform is in your hands. Until next time, take care and keep growing. God bless y'all. Peace. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye, guys. All right. So what did you think about that episode? Surprise. Later. I had amazing guests. So Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., wasn't he great? And Regina Smithwick, just as great. It's exciting Ooh, when you can have somebody come on Jesus. and have real conversations and real awesome. talk, my right? My back is hurting, Bluntly, baby. I was sitting up candidly, openly to be able Ooh. to... Hey, hey, subject. thank y'all, I appreciate y'all. My back was like, I was like this. I'm like, to get other people's <sighs> take and how they feel. All right, y'all, this was good. We got to do, I'm going to have y'all back together. We're going to do a part two. I'm going to think of another conversation that's that we can always have. Um, I just have two more so shows we can have this people season. ask questions um, and, you know, make comments. It makes it that much greater. So if you're looking to be a part of the conversation um, when we go live, definitely look for uh, the YouTube 
edition of this and it's slightly different i talk a little bit more on youtube just like i talk a little bit more here and it's different conversations that happen surrounding the show but everybody thank you so much for tuning in i'm not going to hold you anymore remember to share this out to people who will benefit from the information and don't forget to bless someone else god bless y'all peace make sure you follow me on all social media platforms at Kendall Lanise, TikTok, The Remix Coach. And for more information about me and how to book a life coaching session, go to KendallLanise.com. Thank y'all and God bless.